Honestly, girl friendships give us life. Nothing like having your group of ride or die girlies and a group chat on your phone that never stops going off. Selena and company can relate. How has her friendship evolved over 10 years? Don't go anywhere because this video is all about Selena's crew. And drop us a like for the love of your girl gang. First up, let's look at the bond they share. Don't underestimate the power of friendship. Everyone, even well-known pop singers need friends. So it's no surprise that Selena Gomez maintains strong ties with a small group of close friends. On the second season of Raquel Stevens, Tata to show giving back generation selena gomez sat down with her lifelong close friends to talk about their relationship during the pandemic and beyond selena gomez ashley cook and raquel stevens gave us the most important lessons that they have so far on things like the influence that friendship has on mental health and insights like their enneagram types and love languages the entire conversation paints a very personal picture of gomez's closest friends and family. It also demonstrates the need of having support along the way, whether or not you are famous, to get you through the good and bad times. As Selena put it, you need people in your life who can look at you and say, hey, you might not have made the best choice, but we love you, and we don't think any less of you. It's as simple as that. A group of friends that love you and accept you without judgments. She went on to say that the bond with her girls is the biggest gift in her life. Ah. Isn't that just the sweetest thing? Considering the ups and downs she's been through, including the health scare, we can't imagine not having a support group like hers. Selena credits a significant portion of who she is to her friends. She's also aware that many people don't have the luxury to have such friends. And because she has three as opposed to one, she regards herself as one of the luckiest individuals in the world for getting to share her life with them. So who's the worst? first texter of the group. There's always that one friend, right? Well, in this group, it's Selena. Texts actually don't mean that much to Selena Gomez. She always spells things wrong. She revealed that she frequently seeks Ashley's advice on matters such as speaking engagements or topics she wishes to convey, but is unsure how to. And that's because of how effectively and meaningfully Ashley uses her words. Isn't that all friendship is about? Learning from each other's strength and having someone to turn to. The singer has always been conscious of surrounding herself with people of substance and believes that her connections truly saved her in a big way. These girls didn't just tell her things she wanted to hear, but even gave her the cold, bitter truth, which ended up making her life better. According to Gomez, her girls always tell her how much they love her, but at the end of the day, it's extremely important for her to pick up the phone and contact someone she knows and trusts if she makes a mistake or feels like her thinking is heading in the wrong direction. The entire pandemic has genuinely impacted our lives. That's also when Selena understood, oh, life is a lot, you know, and the people you share it with have to be good for you. She believes they grew even closer during COVID times because all they had left was each other. For her, that was enough. Don't go anywhere. We've got a lot more on Selena's inner circle ahead. So how did their friendship evolve? over the years. In the video, Ashley talked about the ways their friendship has evolved over a decade. She believes one of the reasons is that they've really enabled each other to adapt and grow. We've known each other for so long. There are so many distinct incarnations of us now, meeting people where they are and not expecting them to be anything different, in my opinion, is the best way to truly let people become who they are becoming. Beautifully said, Ashley. Another thing she suggests was empathy, which actually ties into what she stated. For friendships to survive, evolve, and thrive, you've got to have grace and understanding. Empathy and compassion is the glue that keeps them together. Gomez believes that finding individuals who share your beliefs is crucial for your mental health and your ability to communicate with others. And that's a big reason why she's close to her girls. The four have practically been marked for life. They all got identical four tattoos in August. August 2018 to represent you are my four for the rest of my life. As Selena aptly captioned her Instagram photo, she and Courtney also got matching one tattoos on their sides, drawing inspiration from a custom practiced by their married friends. 
The girls also revealed their love languages and personality types. For Selena, it's physical touch and acts of service, all the way, and we second that. Everyone has different love languages and personalities, even in the same group. This bunch believes in meeting each other halfway. They took the Enneagram test and got quite a bit of it accurately. It's just a typical test that individuals take, which in all honesty is a crucial tool. Individualist Type 4 describes Gomez. Stevens belongs to the Type 7 enthusiast. Cook is a Type 2, the helper. We're gonna go ahead and take ours too. Things don't always go well for the girls though. Selena identified herself as the troublemaker of the gang and had more than just tattoos to brag about on the vodcast. She mentioned the day they all went out wearing wigs and Barry praised her for keeping things fresh. The Me and My Girl singer even discussed her first altercation in the kitchen with Stevens, in which they both used banana pudding, orange juice, and several other items from the refrigerator before Gomez escalated the conflict using ketchup on sticking through thick and thin. Gomez emphasized that her fans feel a connection to Cook, Stevens, and Courtney because of the public character their close relationship has taken on. She said, I want to be an example of friendship and what it can be. They have remained friends through thick and thin, even sharing hospital beds while Gomez underwent kidney transplant surgery. The star's call to action, which serves as the show's regular epilogue, was to support and uphold the friendship the four have maintained for years. We truly hope their beautiful bond stays this way for life. And now, in other related news, this is so bizarre. A dress worn by Selena Gomez is connected to an unexpected development in the FBI investigation against Donald Trump. It was disclosed last month that Trump's home at his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida was searched, apparently as part of an inquiry into the removal of presidential records from the White House. As of right now, this is the greatest news story in the US. The Justice Department has stated that it has evidence that government records were likely moved to hamper its investigation. And the first pictures of documents that FBI investigators collected from the estate have now been made public. Markers with the words secret and top secret were clearly visible on the documents, and it sparked a big response across the pond and elsewhere. Incongruous similarities between Trump's carpet and one of Gomez's red carpet outfits have been noticed by social media users. An image of the 30-year-old actress wearing a black garment with gold patterns that remarkably resembled the flooring of Trump's Mar-a-Lago house was uploaded online by writer Marissa Cabas. Another side-by-side -side image of Gomez wearing a yellow suit and the documents on Trump's property labeled Top Secret in the same exact color was also shared by Cabas. Coincidence? We don't think so. Next, Selena becomes a victim to Ramsey's outburst. Gordon Ramsey and Selena Gomez are working up a sweat in the kitchen. On the season four premiere of HBO Max's Selena Plus Chef, the 30-year-old actress requested the renowned chef to join her for the first in-person chef, and the two had some heated exchanges in the kitchen. Together, Gordon and Selena prepared two delicious dishes. But it wasn't easy getting there because the Hell's Kitchen host snapped when she put a steak in the wrong pan after he told her to. After cooking in Selena Gomez's home, Cornwall resident Gordon Ramsay gave anxiety to the singer's followers. The 55-year-old celebrity chef was the most recent to appear on Selena's HBO Max program. Over the years, Gordon Ramsay has developed a name for himself as a result of his fiery cooking style, which has been captured on television in Kitchen Nightmares and Hell's Kitchen, as well as on social media. Gomez and Raquel Stevens, who were sitting and observing the chaos, were in fits of laughter as a result of the chef's desperate outburst, which saw him attempting to corral beachgoers on the sand below. Ramsey continues to shout and give commands in the complete episode, along with plenty of laughs and, of course, some cooking. That's a wrap for this video. What's the best thing you've learned from this heartfelt interview of Selena and her gang? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.